said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. the name of the Lord. Those joining by television, we welcome you to Crossroads Community Church. We're about to have a better time than we had a while ago. We've been having a great time ever since we came into the doors. I even mentioned last Sunday, I believe, that a lot of you think we have a 30-minute church, but we've been having church now for going on two hours, and uh, we're going to have it for another hour or two. And so if you live within driving distance, we invite you to come down. We're a Bible-believing church. We have denominations uh, uh, from everywhere in here. We have Presbyterian, Methodist, Baptist, Pre uh, Church of God, Foursquare, Converted Catholics, Converted uh, Jehovah Witnesses. We're all in here because we believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. We believe that Christ is our Redeemer, and uh, we believe that you have to be born again because the Word of God says it. And, and, and we're just encouraging to come down and be part of uh, the services here. And if you, there's going to be a toll-free number on the screen. If you'll dial that number, uh, praise God, we'll be uh, happy to give you directions and tell you more about the church. But I want to talk to the young people out there. Our youth choir is about to sing. And, uh, and I just want you to hear the words, listen to the words to this song. And, and we invite you to come and be part of the youth outreach here at the church. But make welcome right now, if you will, Crossroads Community Church Youth Choir as they sing for the glory of the Lord.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give God a hand clap of praise. You know, why don't we try a little bit of water walking? You know, we're to walk by faith and not by sight. And that's exactly what God wants the congregation to do. That's exactly what he wants his children to do. He wants each one of us to be as these little children and walk by faith. They walk by faith. They believe. When you tell them two and two is four, they believe it. They don't doubt it. They just accept it. And that's exactly what God wants his children to do with the word. And if you live within driving distance of crossroads and you're not grounded in a church or you're not being fed, we invite you to come here and be part of this congregation. Uh, maybe your children are just not into the church or they're not being taught or to, to serve God. We may not be the biggest or the fanciest, but let me tell you what we do. We teach these little children about Jesus. From the time they're in their mother's wombs, all the way through birth, all the way up the ladder, when they one, two, three, four years old, we teach them about Jesus. We've had two and three year olds come to the altar shaking and crying, and we ask them what they need, and they want Jesus in their hearts. They want to be saved. Why? Because they've heard the word. And 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 you pastors and preachers that don't agree with me, that's fine. But not one child is in hell today because I told them they needed Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's not one child that's gone to hell because I told them that they needed Jesus. And if I'm wrong, it's not going to hurt a thing because I tell them they need Jesus in their lives. But what if these preachers are wrong that tell them that they don't need him? Pastors, what if you are wrong? When you tell them they're, they're covered until the age of accountability and, and stuff, what if you're wrong? Jesus says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Jesus tells us in the Word, there's none perfect, no, not one. There's none righteous, no, not one. If there's none righteous, that means we have to have Christ to be righteous. And when He comes in, He says, I'll never leave you, and I'll never forsake you. So if a child is righteous at birth, if a child is righteous at birth, when does Christ leave them? Because only Christ is righteousness. We have no righteousness. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. When does he leave them? He doesn't leave them. Once he comes in, he's there. But, you know, he says, suffer the little children to come unto me. Allow the little children to come. Allow them. And not one child has ever gone to hell because I tell them that Jesus loves them and that he wants to save their soul. Not one is in hell today. Because I tell them that Jesus loves them. He loves them just as he loves you. He loves them like he loves me. And youth choir, I praise God for you. I thank the Lord for our choir. Give God a hand clap of praise once again. And if your child is not serving the Lord or, and would like to, to be part of the choir, if you're sitting there and you'd like to be part of this youth choir, talk to mom and daddy. Or Call the number on the screen. Praise God. We'll make arrangements to get you here some way, shape, or form and get you to be part of it. They're going to be in the 4th of July parade this year, uh, and I don't know when this 